Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. This is about the fifth time I've done this intro. I gotta tell you guys, I'm having a hard time keeping it short because I got lots to say and well, you know, maybe I'm just talking in circles. I don't know. Basically what we're doing here is artist trading cards. Over at the Messy Hand Band of Artists, we have an exchange going on. That sign up will uh, be uh, open until September 25th, 2019. Artist trading card, you will trade with four people randomly generated around the world. It's pretty amazing. So if you'd like to get into this quarter's exchange, I would love to see you there over at the Messy Hand Band of Artists Facebook group. Really an amazing group of artists and a shout out to my admins, Kat and Cindy. You guys are phenomenal and I really appreciate your support. Now more than ever, because the job is going pretty well, uh, the hours are kind of messing with me. So I got to let you guys know that there's a possibility that we will be reducing the YouTube videos to two videos a week instead of three. Patreons, you will still continue to get your two videos a week. So instead of doing five videos a week, I might have to cut it down to four. Hopefully you guys are understanding that creating your first altered book is going to stay as is masterclass for sure going to stay over at Patreon. We are working on the exquisite corpse uh, on Patreon. And here we did our front cover, which that video will be out on Saturday. I learned how to make a stencil this week. Oh, oh boy. <sighs> Goodness gracious, so much to say, so little time on this project, this cool sunflower. All right, ATC is a two and a half inch by three and a half inch card that you trade with other artists. Artist trading card is what ATC stands for. I used my Derwent ink tenth. Um, these are really a nice pencil. Have to say they work great. Um, they are different from a watercolor pencil and I've been practicing with my Arteza watercolor pencils and I am enjoying both of them. The watercolor pencils are always going to stay water soluble so they are always going to be able to be moved uh, which is an interesting uh, property of the tool. The ink tents um, from what I hear I'm not positive on this, but it is more of an alcohol-based ink. So you are able to wet it down once, but once you wet it, it is going to stay where it is going to be once it dries because it becomes permanent. How cool is that? And then uh, as I was sitting here working on things, you won't see me do this in the video, but then I went and brought in my Ranger Liquid Pearls. Um, they were sitting here, I was working on them with the cover of the altered book, and then this was... Um, Tuesday's video uh, for the fall ATC and it's like oh okay well this makes it go together. I do want you to notice that this uh, paint was the Dur uh, the Arteza watercolor set and this was the Derwent ink tents. Look at how gorgeous the colors are together. They are both very saturated. They are both um, really really beautiful paint colors. I recommend highly uh, the Arteza 36 set. I also recommend the Derwent Ink Tents. I think they're great tools. Uh, all these links are down in the uh, description. If you do use the Arteza link, um, you know, there are some really nice products over there. Uh, still working on product reviews for those because I'm still learning about how to use the watercolor pencils and I want to make sure that I'm doing the best by the product. So anyways, um, be sure to hit that little alarm bell, guys. There could be potential changes to the number of videos uh, for YouTube uh, going from three to two a week uh, until I get used to this schedule a little bit more. My time is always changing and uh, I'm basically on call. So I don't know when I'm going to be working. Uh, those of you, my Patreon upper level tier, let's go ahead and make sure that we get you scheduled for our conversations. What else do I need to chat about? This video keeps getting super long, so I think we're going to wrap it up there. Hit that alarm bell, and then you'll know when a new video comes in. All right, you guys. I know I've said that three times, I think. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love you. Thank you so much. Everything is going great, and I do appreciate all of the support you have been giving. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right. So this is for our ATC exchange. 
that we have going over at Missy Hand Band of Artists. Ozzy, you're just sounding gross over there. Um, these are my Derwent Ink Tense pencils. The theme is Fall ATCs. Make sure you're actually recording the right direction. Looks like it. All right. Now you've seen me draw a sunflower before. Oz, that sound is just gross, buddy. They do have short little leaves. Probably messing that up again, too. Sunflowers are the perfect fall leaf or flower. You can also do like a mom or a chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Where would I get that from? I don't know. But we want to get all of this down before we start to add water to the whole thing. And here we want to have little seed, uh, seedy feeling things here. So we're going to pull in some browner colors. This is a stylized Sunflower, not meant to look like real life, but to have the essence. We're going to bring some darks in here. Derwents are really nice. Um, so they're ink tense, which means that they're water soluble, but they're an alcohol based pencil. So they'll dry permanent. So I can add water to this and move them but only once, I believe. So you see, if you use the right colors in there, you can adjust. You know, we're, we're keeping the colors still light and within that orange realm. And we're gonna bring some darks into here. And see how I've just adjusted the shape of that center? A little too big feeling. Well, maybe this is not a sunflower. Maybe this is one of the uh, fall daisy color ones. It certainly could be, huh? And what we'll do is we'll go in to some of those back ones. Well, I'm going to add a little bit of blue into here. These are actually very, very nice, uh, you know, even using them as a colored pencil. They're a very nice tool. Very soft. It works very well. A piece of paper towel. Let's see what we can do. Super blendable. Be 
beautiful. And we don't have to stay in the lines here, guys. Um, you know, we can have kind of these impressionistic ghost-like lines also. I think that's just fine. Wow, I love it. All right, we're gonna kind of work this center here a little bit. Kind of feels like a mum to me. Ooh, love that. up that dark brown or that blue and it kind of pulls it in a little bit too hard it's a it's a stronger pigment let's see what we can do about that although I do like this color that it is coming out to be I think it's really pretty all right let's uh let's look at the background here a little bit if we can't come up with somehow to define it just a little bit more. Oh, wow.
that noise. All right. Well, you know, it probably got a little bit overworked, but, um, you know, I'm still learning how to use the Derwent ink tents. I think it looks really cool. And then once I cut it down, which you will see in the introduction, I think it will look gorgeous. Okay, guys. Well, there is my second fall ATC all finished up. I do wonder where I put the first one. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Um, you know, I could go back in with the liquid pearls again, but I really think that this one is quite cool like it is, so I probably won't do that. But then I kind of like to have a common theme running through them too. So again, I think the colors are perfect for a fall ATC exchange. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great day. We'll chat soon.